A beautiful weekend forecast in store for us. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Let's take you up to the top of Pikes Peak right now. This really just paints the picture for us today. Mostly clear skies all across the board. About 15 degrees at the summit right now. Winds pretty heavy out of the west, about 15.9 miles an hour. But uh, winds are going to be the big story over the next few days as well. As soon as this cold front starts to enter into the region, that is going to kind of help to instigate and kick up those winds. Current temperatures looking fairly nice out there. Looking at the 40s into eastern Colorado, slightly warmer into the foothills, into the mid 50s and 30s and 40s into the mountains as well. So a nice day out there. As for our live HD Doppler radar, as you saw off the Pikes Peak camera, not hardly a cloud in the sky, no moisture to work with today. Day. All that stuff is going to start moving in as the weekend approaches. All right, kind of showing you the satellite view right now again. No cloud cover over eastern Colorado. All the clouds lingering over western Colorado, so we're looking relatively clear, and that's going to pretty much stick with us. But notice off of the North Pacific, you can just see it peeking in here off of the Portland coast there. That is the next system that is going to instigate a little bit of flurry activity across the board. Here's how it's going to play out for us. So, up through the next few hours into tonight, we're looking at a relatively clear evening. But as that system starts knocking at our doorstep, we are going to start to see winds kick up a little bit out of the west. Not crazy significant unless you're into the mountains. Mountain winds are going to be pretty significant. Down into the plains, not bad, just overall breezy. As Friday plays out into our Saturday morning, again, winds are going to linger. That cold front's going to start knocking at our doorstep as Friday afternoon lingers. So, again, Saturday, or excuse me, Saturday afternoon. Saturday looks to be an absolutely gorgeous day. However, Saturday evening, that's when that cold front's expected to start setting in, kicking off snow into the high country and likely a few flurries down into the plains. Not quite as heavy as what we saw out of this last system, but definitely take note of that. As for lows tonight, into the 20s and teens, 19 degrees in Lyman, a bit chilly there. Looking at the mid 20s into the foothills and teens into the mountains, but look at those temperatures tomorrow. Yeah, those aren't typos. Nearly 60 degrees in most locations, 40s into the mountains. Just a gorgeous one. Next seven days look like this. Again, bit of a dip in the temperatures once that cold front slides through Saturday night. About 10 degrees on average, kicking off some flurries. Then those temperatures will start to level out a little bit after Monday. Monday right now looks to be the coldest day of this next week. Then again, those temperatures will level out into the mid 40s. Looking at the teens and 20s into Pueblo for overnight lows. Again, a bit of a drop in those temperatures come Sunday. Into Canyon City, we're looking at about 57 degrees for your Saturday, 10 degree drop into Sunday. Looking at the 40s to follow, and 18 degrees there, or I should say teens for your overnight lows into Canyon City. Teller County, relatively the same story, just a little bit cooler overnight into the single digits by Monday night. But again, Monday looks to be the cold day. And snow is going to set in eh, likely Saturday night into Sunday. Not crazy significant. So, like you were saying, John, you might be able to get that uh, last game of golf in here in the near future. So, and, yeah, I could be golfing <laughs> while you're skiing. Yes, I'll be skiing. Perfect. Typical Colorado, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that's golf, right. You can do both. Ski, all in the same weekend. <laughs> We've Beautiful. got it going on. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Yep.